just said, if you and him were to fight and uh, you were both in your prime, he would win. Well, it's crazy that, you know, Canelo said that because when Canelo fought me, he was in his prime. And when I fought, I was an old man. So I wasn't, actually, I wasn't in my prime when I fought Canelo. You know, I was an old man when I fought Canelo. Just like this right here. On my worst day, you know, on my worst day, I'm still going to be Floyd Mayweather and go out there and do what I do best. Like Floyd Mayweather, I recently saw this today. He was asked about Canelo's comments recently about when Canelo said he would knock out Floyd Mayweather in his prime. That Floyd Mayweather made it was a good jab at Canelo. He's like, well, first off, I like to point out the fact that when I beat Canelo, I didn't fight him in my prime. So before Canelo can even say fight me in my prime, he didn't. I, I beat him out of my prime. So and Canelo was coming into his prime. Floyd Mayweather said this, and I'm thinking, you know, I didn't even think about that. Before Canelo can even say he would beat Floyd Mayweather in his prime, can you even beat the Floyd Mayweather that fought you out of his prime? Like, can you even do that, Canelo? Because you sure as shit can't. Right. <laughs> Remember, uh, me and you talked about it. Floyd Mayweather responded to Canelo Alvarez's comment of beating him or, or knocking him out in his prime. And he said, I already beat him in his prime. I was an old man. I was an old man, and I beat him in his prime. Now, first of all, we all know Canelo Alvarez <laughs> is famously known for getting embarrassed to Floyd Money Mayweather. Well, that was his coming out party. Like Floyd Mayweather, his coming out party was beating uh, Oscar De La Hoya, beating Corrales, Manny Pacman Pacquiao. His coming out party was dominating Barrera, one of the greats. His coming out party was being Oscar De La Hoya. That's what made him a superstar. On the other hand, Canelo Alvarez, his coming out party was losing every single round, every single minute of that fight to Floyd Money Mayweather, a grandpa version of Floyd Mayweather. But Canelo has the audacity to claim, prime for prime, Canelo Alvarez in his prime will knock out Floyd Mayweather <laughs> in his prime. So let me get your thoughts on that, and obviously I will give you my take. Let me just start off real quick. Now, I ain't going to say any names, but there's been a few channels out there that recently commented, commented on this and stated that because of Floyd Mayweather's how he picked fighters in his prime that he, he wouldn't do well against someone that skilled as Canelo back in his prime because of how Floyd selected his fights. In other words, they say he's a cherry picker again, you know, the same old, same old. The funny thing is, everybody who Canelo and Floyd have shared together, when they fought Floyd, they were out of their prime. But when Canelo fought them years later, they were surprisingly back in their prime. You notice that? How? When Floyd beat Cotto, people were like, oh, Cotto's washed. But Canelo beats Cotto. Canelo's praised. When Floyd beats Mosley, Mosley's washed. But when Canelo beats him, oh, he's, uh, it's the same thing. Keeps going on back and forth. Canelo gets praised for beating up on, on Amir Khan, who outboxed him for four rounds, coming up two weight classes. But Floyd Mayweather comes up to your weight class and beats the shit out of you when you're a unified champion. How does that make you look? So yet you want to claim that if you guys were prime for prime, he beat you. What, what do you consider prime, Canelo? What do you consider prime? When you are 168 and he's at 147, you're not going to, is that what you're talking about? Because I know you're not talking about in the same weight class, skill for skill, eye for eye. Let's be honest here. Look, Canelo's a great fighter, but Floyd May was just on a different level. We saw that back in 2014, and I don't think the result would change six or seven years later. I don't think it would have changed seven years beforehand. I think, frankly, no, I, th I think Floyd Mayweather beats the shit out of Canelo 10, 10 times out of 10, no matter what. The style that Floyd Mayweather has is the style that Canelo avoids fights with. So you know Floyd Mayweather beats the shit out of Canelo Alvarez. I'm sorry. All right. Now, first of all, for the people that you did mention, whoever these trolls are in different channels that claim that Floyd cherry picked as pretty boy. That just shows you they're just a bunch of trolls and not reliable because the fact that Floyd Mayweather, as pretty boy in his prime, he was the boogeyman. He was the most avoided. He was calling out everybody and everybody was ducking him. He beat Corrales and still called out all the best fighters. He called out Sugar Shane Mosley when Sugar Shane was undefeated at 135. And Sugar Shane, he made up excuses, avoided Floyd Mayweather on more than one occasion and blamed it on his teeth at one point. So... To say Floyd Mayweather cherry picked as pretty boy kills their argument, whatever they bring it to the table, because 
Pretty Boy was the boogeyman. So how can you cherry pick or be a businessman when you are the boogeyman, when nobody's willing to fight you and you one of the top pound for pound fighters in the world? So first of all, I do want to start off with Canelo's excuse of being unexperienced and too young. Now, first of all, Canelo on steroids will lose to Floyd. At any time in his career, if Canelo is on steroids, he will still lose to Floyd Mayweather. And when it comes to the too young excuse, last time I checked, Mike Tyson was undisputed at 21 years old. Last time I checked, Mike Tyson was the baddest man on the planet at 21 years old. Last time I checked, Mike Tyson, he turned pro in 1985. And three years later, he became undisputed with only 20 fights. On the other hand, Canelo Alvarez, they call him, according to Canelo Alvarez trainer, Canelo, he's labeled as the Mexican Mike Tyson when he was growing up in Mexico. So if he's the Mexican Mike Tyson, Canelo Alvarez turned pro at 15 years old. By the time he fought Floyd Mayweather, Canelo was nine years into his pro career. Canelo Alvarez had 50 fights. Canelo was 23 years old and a unified champion at his bully weight division, 154. That Canelo lost to a grandpa version of Floyd Mayweather that was 36, 37 years old, that was fighting in his fifth weight division. And he didn't just lose to Floyd, he lost every round. That was arguably Floyd Mayweather's easiest fight. That was Floyd Mayweather worse against Canelo Alvarez entering his prime. But I guess Mike Tyson at 21, he said, I'm the baddest man on the planet as the undisputed heavyweight champion of the world. However, Canelo Alvarez at 23, he's apparently, I wasn't born ready, kind of a champion. Apparently the law stings. And he keeps reading into the decafs of that claim. Oh, prime for prime, you will beat Floyd. How? How can he beat Floyd prime for prime? Not just beat him. Canelo said, knock him out. How can you knock out Floyd in his prime when he was pretty boy Mayweather when Canelo could have knocked out Gennady Golovkin, who utilizes blocking with his face technique, a punching bag? You could have knocked out Gennady Golovkin, but you're going to knock out Floyd Mayweather, who has arguably the best defense and offense of all time. And, you know, forget about knocking out Gennady Golovkin. He arguably lost twice to Gennady Golovkin. And he tested for steroid one time. But that same Canelo could beat Floyd. Pretty boy Floyd, in fact. The best version of Floyd Mayweather was the version when he was 23 years old. Floyd Mayweather at 23 years old was the best version of Floyd Mayweather. Floyd Mayweather at 23, 24 beat Corrales. That was his best performance of his career. Corrales was 20 pounds bigger than him. He was undefeated, had more knockouts than him, had an iron chin, and Floyd Mayweather clearly dominated him. It was arguably his best performance of his career, offensively, defensively, entertaining-wise, you name it. Floyd Mayweather displayed everything about the sweet science and the entertainment of boxing in that fight. You telling me Canelo can knock out that version of Floyd Mayweather, the pretty boy version? Man, he won't even last couple rounds with Floyd. Never mind if roles were reversed. Can you imagine if Floyd was 23, that same version that went up against Corrales, fighting a Canelo Alvarez that had to move up five weight divisions? Let's say Canelo started at 112 pounds and he had to move up all the way to 130 pounds to fight Floyd Mayweather. Let's say Canelo was 37 years old and Floyd was 23. Let's say Canelo had 40 fights. Floyd Mayweather had 50 fights. Who would win that fight? Man, Floyd Mayweather, he would wipe the floor with him. Floyd Mayweather will knock Canelo Alvarez from Mexico back to Ireland, where he actually from. If we all being honest. I mean, it's, it's real simple when you think about it. Here's the thing. Everybody wants to say, like, even Floyd Mayweather's coming out party, De La Hoya. Oh, he fought De La Hoya when he was old. De La Hoya was 34 years old, and Floyd Mayweather already said he called out De La Hoya years before that. And he was a champion when De La Hoya fought him. I can name you all the champions that people actually know of Canelo and how many of them were actually um, older than the age that De La Hoya was when he fought Mayweather. Shane Mosley was older than De La Hoya when Canelo fought him. Miguel Cotto 
was older than Delahoy when he fought him. Gennady Golovkin, which is still to this day is Canelo's best win, as well as the fight where a lot of people thought he lost, at least the first one, was older than Delahoy. Sergey Kovalev was older. So these are Canelo's quote-unquote best wins, and yet they're, they're all in their prime. But yet you telling me a 34-year-old Delahoya who Mayweather moved up to face, that, that, that guy's out of his prime. You telling me Miguel Cotto at 31 was out of his prime. You telling me Shane Mosley, who fought Mayweather years before he ever even knew who Canelo Alvarez was, was out of his prime. That's, that's the thing. These Canelo fans, they don't make no sense. They want to get all emotional and say Floyd Mayweather cherry pick, and then they contradict themselves because I, I point out to them every fighter you mentioned Floyd Mayweather fought out of their prime, Canelo fought years later. So that doesn't make any sense. And these guys were in their early 30s when Floyd Mayweather fought them. Canelo's fighting them damn near in their 40s. And not to mention, like, Floyd's fought these guys coming off their biggest win. Cotto beating Margarito. And Shigashe Mosley knocking out Margarito. Oscar De La Hoya coming off a big win. Pacquiao coming off a big win. Maybe. Even Virgil Ortiz. Virgil Ortiz beat an undefeated Berto at the time. He was coming off a big win. The biggest win of his career, in which he shocked the world in the fight of the year at the time. Virgil Ortiz excuse. was the same age as Canelo, but people don't talk about that. They only bring up how Canelo was 23. Victor yeah. Ortiz was 24 years old. No one had a problem with that. Like I said, 23 is entering your prime. We saw Mike Tyson being the baddest man on the planet at 23. And Nassim Hamed, his best version was at 22 when he was unified champion. Teofimo Lopez beat a pound for pound Lomachenko. Lomachenko. And Lomachenko was 32 years old. Floyd was 37 years old. Lomachenko was 32 when Tio beat him with 15 fights. Not 50 fights. 15 fights. Tio was 15 fights. Four years into his pro career, and he beat a Lomachenko that was 32 years old in his third weight division. Meanwhile, Canelo Alvarez, again, 50 fights, eight years, nine years into his pro career. Supposedly the baby Mike Tyson of Mexico. And he not ready? You will never be ready if you're not ready at 23 years old. That's supposed to be you entering your prom. And that version of Canelo was one of Canelo's best versions that I had ever seen. Because, again, Canelo against Lara, he looked like crap. Lara won that fight. Canelo versus Amir Khan, he was getting outboxed for the first five rounds. Canelo versus Triple G, he arguably lost both fights. And this was recent. Canelo versus Kovalev, that was one foot out of the door. Canelo was losing that fight up to the 10 round when he stopped Kovalev. So where is this version of Canelo that could knock out Floyd? At what time was Canelo the best version of himself? Because everybody was screaming out when he, how beat <laughs> when he when he beat Avini, a fighter coming off a loss, when he lost his contract for cherry picking. Is that Canelo Alvarez's best version? When he cherry picks the cherry pick of the century? Because remember, when Floyd fought Canelo. The reason why Floyd fought Canelo is because they were claiming Floyd is ducking Canelo. Everybody was screaming out on top of their lungs that Floyd is ducking Canelo. Floyd is ducking Canelo. Floyd told Canelo, look, go get a significant win, beat an Austin Trap, and then I'm going to fight you. Because remember, Canelo didn't even want to fight Austin Trap. Floyd told him, if you fight Austin Trap and you beat him, I'll fight you. And then Canelo fought an undefeated Austin Trap. He struggled with him, but he displayed good head but he movement. Yeah, he beat him. He displayed good head movement. The same head movement he has today. People want to talk about his tremendous defense. He had good defense when he fought Austin Trout. We still see highlights till this Today. day hey, hey, hey. of Canelo head movement against Austin Trout, of how sweet his defense was. And then a fight later against Floyd Mayweather when Canelo was a unified champion at 23 with 50 fights. He's too young. He's unexperienced. He wasn't ready. But Mike Tyson, Floyd Mayweather, Muhammad Ali, Teofimo Lopez, they are the best version of themselves at 23. Muhammad Ali was the baddest man on the planet at 23. Mike Tyson was the baddest man on the planet at 23. Like I said, it's just a bunch of excuses. Canelo will be remembered for I'm not ready kind of a champion because that's all he does. So if you're so good, Canelo, why are you still ducking black American style fighters to, to this day. Day, 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 if Canelo improves so much from that Floyd Mayweather loss, why is he ducking Charlo? Why is he ducking Andre? Remember, 
Canelo was Andrade mandatory at one point at 154 for the WBO belt. And Andre disrespected the heck out of Canelo. He told him to grow some cojones and all of the above. He called him the B word when Canelo was Andre mandatory, when Canelo didn't have a belt and he avoided Andre. And then roles were reversed at 160. Trollo was Canelo mandatory and Canelo surrendered the belt to Trollo. So if you improve so much, how come you continue to avoid black American fighters? The last time Canelo Alvarez fought an undefeated black American fighter was nine years ago when he lost to Floyd Mayweather. So that should tell you everything, that the fact that Canelo has been avoiding Floyd Mayweather style top of a fighter to this day, 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 day. nine years later. But again, T.O. 23 beat Lomachenko. Mike was the baddest man on the planet at 21. Ali was the greatest of all time, the best version of himself at 23. So what are we talking about? The only one that was unexperienced with 50 fights that I know of is Canelo Alvarez. And if he's so good today, why are you ducking Charlo and Andre? Why are you continue to duck these undefeated black American fighters? Like I said before, Canelo on steroids will lose to Floyd. When you ask Canelo, like he goes in his Instagram and he says, like, who do you guys want to see me go against next? I don't see Charlo. I barely see Andre. I don't see any of those guys. The number one name I see other than Triple G at this time is Floyd Mayweather. They want to see a 44-year-old Floyd Mayweather up against a Canelo at 168. But they don't want to see him fight against Demetrius Andre, who's been calling him out. Jamal Charles, who's been calling him out. David Benavides, who's been calling him out. Like, I don't get it. <laughs> and when we say prime for prime, we got to make it clear. When you say Canelo versus Floyd prime for prime, you got to bring up Floyd from 130. Let's say Floyd Mayweather is 50 pounds bigger against Canelo. Or you got to shrink Canelo back to 130 and say, okay, well, if Canelo is at 130, prime for prime, who going to win? This is what we're talking about. We ain't going to bring up Floyd from 130 against Canelo at 175. That's not how it works when you and do that's prime for prime. Do. Yeah, and that don't make no sense. Yeah, that's what people got to realize. Like Canelo, he will never fight an Andre Ward. He never challenged Andre Ward. He never asked for a Floyd Mayweather rematch until Floyd Mayweather retired like two years later. You never heard Canelo Alvarez say, I was unexperienced. I want a Floyd Mayweather rematch when Floyd was still active. He never called out Floyd Mayweather. The moment Floyd Mayweather retired, now it's safe to come out and make a ridiculous statement because he knows Floyd is 45 years old. He's not going to come out of retirement to fight him. And if he did, he'd probably still beat his ass. With Canelo, the flaws that we see, Kovalev was catching him with jabs all night. Gennady Golovkin was catching him with jabs all night. Everybody catches Canelo with jabs all night. Amir Khan, Lara, all these guys were making him look bad at some point. We never seen this improved version of Canelo unless he fights an Avini Yildrum, a Rocky Fielding, a Calum Smith. These European fighters, and this is exactly why he's on a Europe tour as we speak. This is why Canelo is the pioneer of the NBF belt. No black fighters, witness protection franchise. Again, Canelo is the best non-black fighter in the world. That's what he is. He don't fight any black fighters, which is the most dominant race, because he don't want to have flashbacks of what happened to him when he fought Floyd. The people want to bring up Jacob. Jacob was never undefeated. Jacob is not as sharp offensively and defensively as Charlo and Andre. Jacob already been knocked out before and lost on more than one occasion before he fought Canelo. We're talking about an undefeated black American fighter. The last time Canelo fought that top of a fighter, he lost, which was nine years ago against Floyd Mayweather. Hold it, hold it, hold it. You're not that pretty. I'm a bad man. I shook up the world. I bear witness there's only one God, Allah, and Muhammad is his final messenger. That's why I said, Larry, on the bungle fight, thanking you. They call me the problem, but you could call me the can man, because anybody can get Africans, Americans, Dominicans, Mexicans, anybody can get it.